Want to do some labs to dig deeper into your specific IBS or digestive root causes? Watch this video to find out what labs are most useful and how to access them. I'm Amanda Malachewski, certified functional health coach and digestive and allergy detective. For the best tips and tricks on how to navigate digestive and allergy challenges the right way, even if you've been told there's nothing you can do, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Monday. If you're wanting to run gut tests to find out what you can do to feel better with your IBS or other gut symptoms, by the end of this video, you'll know which tests I recommend and how to find a practitioner who can help you. Let's get started. So fixing gut problems definitely involves dietary changes to avoid triggers, but the root cause of IBS-like symptoms or food sensitivities are often gut infections with parasites or bacterial or yeast overgrowth. But how do you know where to start and what approach to take? Testing the gut is the answer to understand exactly what you're dealing with so that you can create the appropriate strategy for healing. The first test I really love is a stool test called the GI map by Diagnostic Solutions Laboratory or DSL. The GI map is a home collection test that uses DNA analysis of your poo sample. And because of this, it's far more likely to find critters than a typical stool test offered in your doctor's office. GI map tests for pathogenic bacteria, parasites, worms, and yeasts. The yeast testing is especially valuable because yeast are really difficult to culture. So DNA testing may show a more accurate result than traditional testing. The test also includes gut health markers that can really help you understand what else is going on in your belly. And having accurate information about what specific organisms are present really helps you choose the appropriate and right strategy for healing. An additional benefit of the GI map is that it's often, though not always, covered by insurance. The second gut test that I find quite valuable is a SIBO breath test. SIBO is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and it's estimated that about 80% of IBS cases are in fact caused by SIBO infections. So, you know, when somebody comes to me and is complaining about IBS-like symptoms, I want to find out if they have SIBO. I use the BioHealth Lab SIBO test, but there are other tests um, from other labs as well. So during a SIBO test, you drink a solution of either glucose or lactulose, um, and then you collect breath samples every 20 minutes for three hours to test for increases in either hydrogen or methane gas or both. Some tests only collect for two hours, but these can sometimes miss SIBO cases, so I think it's important to use the three-hour test. Knowing which type of SIBO is present is important because this really helps you choose the right strategy to resolve it, and the strategies are really different depending on whether you're dealing with a hydrogen or a methane infection. Have you ever had a stool or SIBO breath test? Let me know in the comments below what you found. The third test that can be valuable but it's not essential is the intestinal permeability test by Genova Labs. This test can tell you whether or not you have a leaky gut. It's an at-home test where you drink two challenge solutions and then collect your urine for a certain amount of time afterwards. And if those end up in your urine, uh, you have a leaky gut because otherwise they wouldn't be able to get there. This information isn't particularly clinically useful, so if you're trying to save money, I recommend saving it for your SIBO and stool tests. But if you're interested in learning whether, yes, for sure, I have a leaky gut, this can be a useful test to use. The fourth test I really like to use sometimes is a food sensitivity test. So many of us with IBS or IBS-like symptoms have a lot of food triggers and sensitivities. My go-to method for determining food triggers is to first use a food symptom diary. I provided a link for mine below, but there are sometimes so many confusing sensitivities. A food sensitivity test can help give you a starting place and clarify where you need to go. And you know, it also helps reduce the time it takes to figure all that out. So I use the mediator release test by Oxford Biomedical or an IgG antibody test by Great Plains Labs or US Biotech Labs, depending on the situation. One last test that can provide indirect information about your digestive function includes the organic acids test or the OATS test. This test checks metabolic byproducts of bacteria and yeasts in addition to lots of other markers, so it can give you an additional breadth to your picture of your gut. So now you have an idea of what tests might be helpful for you, but how do you access them? So most if not all of these labs require a practitioner with an account to access. Um, so there's several ways that you can think about finding a practitioner who can help. So functional medicine practitioners, which might include MDs, naturopaths, chiropractors, licensed acupuncturists, or functional diagnostic nutrition practitioners like me, and more are possibilities. You can also search for a practitioner in your area at the Institute for Functional Medicine website. 
Make sure that your chosen support person is able to work closely with you to put your strategy to work and is really helping provide you with individualized recommendations. Now you know which tests can help you learn more about the root causes of your particular digestive challenges and how to find a practitioner who can help you do this testing. I'd like to invite you to meet with me over the phone to help you determine if testing is right for you. You can always schedule a free 30-minute assessment session with me by visiting my website at confluencenutrition.com forward slash contact and by using my online appointment scheduler to pick a time to talk further. I also have a private Facebook group called Hope for Healing Chronic Illness where you can ask questions of me and our community, so come check us out. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe, and share it with your fellow digestively challenged friends or family. Comment below with helpful if this video helped you. See you next time.